Welcome everybody to another Amigo with an Ego podcast. And today I just wanted to talk about sports. Um, I watched a few sports today, a few different sports. So I kind of just wanted to give my take on what I was able to watch. Um, so first of all, I want to start with the most recent um, sport that I watched, which was baseball. I watched the Cubs lose um and yeah of course i'm from chicago area so i support all chicago teams and for baseball i support the chicago cubs um was never really a white Sox fan growing up so it's always been the cubs uh and i'm not gonna lie i wasn't always a baseball fan um but my memory serves me right. I was always a Cubs fan just because that's what my brother supported and who he watched. And so when they won uh, the championship in in 2016, um, it was pretty historical, obviously, for the city of Chicago and just a great thing because I feel like the Cubs are America's team. That's just the way I feel, but... Right now, they're not doing so well, but the season's long. It's early in the season, so I'm I'm pretty sure they'll, they'll turn it around um, in time for, you know, when postseason comes around and all that stuff. Um, and then, obviously, I watched um, Champions League, uh, which is soccer. So I watched um, Ajax and Juventus play and... Uh, I saw Cristiano Ronaldo score, but they ended up playing to a draw 1-1 and everything will be decided when they head back to Italy. Um, It was a a good game. Obviously, um, Juventus is the favorite in that one, you know, just because of their star power and everything. But it looks like Ajax, you know, put up a pretty good fight. They played almost similar to when they lost to uh, or when they beat Real Madrid, they lost the first leg, didn't play too well, but then turned around the second leg. So I'm rooting for Juventus. I hope they can pull it out. Um, it's um, I've always been a Ronaldo fan, and hopefully, you know, maybe we get a Barcelona Juventus final with Messi and Ronaldo going at each other, which then brings me to um, the other game that I was able to watch, and that was um, the Barcelona and. Uh, Manchester United game and um, Barcelona ended up winning with a own goal from Man United. Um, it it was it was actually closer than I thought it was gonna be. I for sure um, thought Barcelona was gonna have an easy time, and they were actually gonna you know score, which would have been beneficial to them. But I feel they are up 1-0 so it's going to be really difficult for Manchester United to come back but in that leg I am rooting for Manchester United just because I'm a Pogba fan and you know I just I've always been a Real Madrid fan so Barcelona just hasn't been the team that I root for although I have respected their history and have respected the players that have came through um and I've admired a lot of players that they've had you know, on their team, but it's just, for some reason, I just always was attracted to Real Madrid more, and so, yeah, it's not, Barcelona's not the team that I want to win, and then there's Messi, he's, he's good, but, I mean, he's great, let's be honest, he's great, but just not my, my cup of tea, I guess you could say. I don't know why that is, but it is what it is. And so everything will be played for, you know, um, next week. And then I I think Tottenham won, beat Manchester City. And I don't know the result of the Liverpool-Porto um, game um, because I just didn't watch those. And those teams just really don't interest me, interest me that much. And um, I'm just I'm just worried about these two games that were on today. And talking about the NBA, we also have our um, playoff brackets ready. 
So in the West, we have um, the Golden State going against the Clippers, um, Denver and San Antonio Spurs. We got um, Houston and OKC and Portland and Utah. All very, very good series. And any any one of those matchups, could I could see either team winning except for Golden State. I'm, I'm pretty sure they could handle the Clippers. And then in the East, we got the number one seed in Milwaukee Bucks against Detroit. Um, Toronto Raptors against Orlando Magic, which hopefully I can catch a game if the ch- tickets aren't, aren't too too crazy. Um, then we have Philadelphia and, and Brooklyn. And then we have um, Boston, Indiana. So, again, you know, any I feel like these playoffs are going to be closer than maybe people think. And just hoping for good NBA basketball because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. And today I watched the Bulls, Chicago Bulls game, and that was horrible, not good at all. Um, and I just hope that next year something happens. I don't know if we get a free agent. I don't know what, but 22 games, that's terrible. Can't You can't just win 22 games in a season. That's unacceptable and especially for the city of Chicago you know these players no disrespect to them but they're not representing what a Bulls basketball is all about which has always been tough you know a a grinded out defensive team that's going to bring it every night like you're going to be in a dogfight you know when you're playing when you're playing the 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 Bulls and right now it's just they're just laying over people or just laying down for people to just run over them and and go ahead, and that's not Bulls basketball. So hopefully, you know, next season, I don't know if we somehow miraculously, I don't even know if it's possible we get the number one pick. Maybe it turns around for us, and maybe D. Rose can come back and kind of finish his career with Chicago. Um, I think that would be good for the city of Chicago since, you know, we kind of have nothing else to really root for right now with basketball. Um, and then, as you know, if you follow the NBA, you knew you know that we had two legends retire, uh, Dirk Nowitzki and Dwayne Wade. And today were their final games. And, you know, I just want to give them a huge shout out. I know this means nothing to them, but, you know, D. Wade, he came to Chicago about two years ago and played with us for a year. And which I think he should have came sooner, but obviously he made his decision and he won a couple championships with the Miami Heat and then he went to Cleveland, got traded to Cleveland, then went back to Miami. So it's all good for him. He's had a great, brilliant career and just an amazing career. And, you know, I think he's going to be fine. Um, I think he's a Hall of Famer, no doubt. Um and then Dirk Nowitzki, another Hall of Famer, he definitely um, took on took on the super team, and he beat them um, by himself. Really, he he with a bunch of role players, you know, he took that Miami Heat team down. I don't care what you have to say, he did it with who maybe Jason Terry, um, but he did it all himself and. He's going to be one of the greats to go down. Obviously, probably the best European player. No disrespect to Tony Kukoc, obviously, former Chicago Bulls. Shout out to him. Um, But definitely, definitely two great, amazing careers. Dirk Nowitzki played for 20 years. um, And Dwayne Wade, you know, came out in 2003. Same with same time as LeBron. You know, that that star studded cat, you know, um, class with LeBron James, Chris Bosh, uh, Carmelo Anthony, D. Wade. I think a lot of people forget about Kirk Heinrich, but I don't because obviously he paid, played for the Chicago Bulls. Um, so, um, yeah, I just want to say to them, huge, huge thank you for everything they did for the game of basketball and um, just everything they 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 brought to the game, you know, they, two different styles, obviously, Dirk Nowitzki's, you know, a big, but he had that fadeaway that was unstoppable, and then you just had Dwayne Wade, who, you know, was a 
slasher dunker and just a, a really good scorer and and they will truly be missed um i wish they would have televised their their final games but obviously um the schedule's probably set up before and can't really be can't really be changed mid-season but um it was great having them in the league and wish them all the best when they retired in the retirements and um thank you guys thank you for everything you did for the game of basketball so with that being said i'm going to end this podcast it wasn't very long but you know i just wanted to share my thoughts really quick on on what i was able to see busy day of sports for me and um my invitation to um be on my podcast is still out there so if you're listening don't be afraid send me an email let's talk and of course if you haven't subscribed subscribe what are you waiting for um and we'll see you guys in the next one peace Hey everybody, you're listening to your Amigo with an Ego podcast. And what are you waiting for? Give me a like, hit the subscribe button, do it now.